Welcome guys in this video let's see how I am actually using my WSL to uh, integrate and work with VMware so without any further let's dive into the video so what I have done is like uh, I'm opening this virtual network adapter I mean virtual network editor and I will just accept this uh, in I will, and I will turn on the administrator mode and here what I have done is like I've created a custom and I used this Bridger that connect and user hyper v virtual network adapter and if you do like ipa you can see that it's 172.2.184 so what i will do is like i will do ip config slash all and here 172.22 where it is 172 So now we have found the adapter and it's virtual network adapter hashtag 2 and if you can see it's 172.22 and both are in the same network and if you are confused still and if you want to verify that it's the same network you can do one thing like you can run a python http server and you can verify it so let's see how we can do it and also if you try using ping it won't work because windows by default ignores all the ICMP requests and we can't verify if the host is alive with ping so let's use this http server only and is running on it so let's verify i'll use firefox it's loading okay i will use this message only and use a local host is 280 and you can see this is working right so what i will do is like um, ip config slash all right um, what i will do is like i will open a firefox browser here first i will turn on this team up so that yeah, I will use Firefox and we got a Firefox here so what I will do is like I will try all the IP addresses here so here is this so what I will do is like I will split it and I will just not this Firefox sorry this Firefox okay I guess window snapping is not working with this okay so what I will do is like the more mostly it will be this one or this one so I'll just copy this and paste it here and we can see that we are it's actually see this no yeah it is Ethernet adapter VWSL it's hashtag 2 so what I will be doing is like I'll open this adapter and I will just use this it apply okay and what will happen is if we set VMNet1 VMNet9 in any of this then we can actually interact with this WSL machine so what I will do is like I will open this VMware. Mm, okay, VMware is on, and I will go to this Windows Outlook settings, Edit Virtual Machine settings, and I'll go to Options, Shared, Not Shared for us. So sorry, I will go to Network Adapter, and I'll just leave this Network Adapter, and I will add a new one here. Network Adapter Finish and Bridge, not Bridge actually. I will use Custom VMNet Nine. This is what we have set here. So, if you want, I will show you again. Virtual network editor. Yeah, you can see here it's custom VMNet 9. And if you do this change settings, I guess so see VMNet 9 Bridger Hyper V. So, uh, I will do this. I will click OK and I will just turn this machine. and okay mitigations cool what i will be doing is like i will shut down this what will happen is like uh, whenever we use wsl or hyper v uh, it will turn on side side channel mitigation which helps to be more secure this will be run complete sandbox environment so this might also sometimes make the system slow okay so as we are demonstrating i'm just leaving it for now so I will give my password 
and to disable that side channel mitigation what you what you can do is like uh, here in settings you can go to options advanced and you can disable it okay since we are on turn on i guess we can't see this but you can disable or enable here so i'll just click cancel and i'll wait for the operating system to open mm. So now let's check if Windows can access the services which are running on Linux. Go to our terminal and here I will go to here and I will create a new terminal. And now what I will do is like I will run Python here. Python 3-m http dot server 80 80.90 of Google. So and also I will do Divide this and I will just copy here. Eighty ninety. So you can see that we can access the port which is open in Kali Linux. So that means uh, these both are in same network and both are accessible. So thank you for watching, guys, and have a nice day.